Welcome to an informative session on Hastings Laser Accurate Sabo Slugs. Hi, my name is Rich Noster. I'm here from Hastings Shotgun Barrel and Ammunition Company. And we're here today to introduce you to our complete line of Sabo Shotgun Slugs. The 2 and 3 quarter inch 12 gauge Magnum, the 3 inch 12 gauge Magnum, the 2 and 3 quarter inch low recoil, the 2 and 3 quarter inch 20 gauge, and the 3 inch 20 gauge Magnum. Conditions varied greatly with occasional 30 mile per hour gusts of wind, sporadic showers, bursts of sunlight with temperatures in the mid 80s. First up is the 12 gauge 3 inch Magnum. Shooting the 3 inch Magnum is Ricky Bunt with a 12 gauge Savage topped with a Burris 4 power scope. Right on! One of the main reasons that our Sabo shoots so well is the fact that when the air goes over the Sabo itself, it creates a vacuum. When it is in flight, it is an inch and three quarters long. It is the longest in-flight Sabo that we have on the market today. At the same time, it is made from a custom polymer material that will not ghoul up in your barrel. So there's no need to clean it every 10 or 15 rounds like you do with other Sabos. Also, one of the biggest advantages is that it doesn't come off until it makes contact with the target. Therefore, it's stable from the end of that barrel all the way to the target, and you don't have to worry about anything falling off unequally or coming off at different yardages, which affects accuracy. In the interior of the Sabo, maybe perhaps you can't see it right now, but it is spline, and then splines or so that it captures the rotational spin of the rifling, transferring that rifling rotational spin directly to the lead inside so there's no slippage. Upon contact with the target, the frontal part of this unitized Sabo rolls back, releasing the payload and allowing it to move forward and expand. As you can see here, there's quite a bit of difference compared to what it originally looked like. The front of this will stop or try to stop and the back of this will act very much like a caboose on a freight train rack. It'll continue to move forward and expand and that's the way we get our expansion. It doesn't open up like an umbrella. It will not expand on the surface. However, it will start and it will penetrate through any of the deer that you happen to come across this year, we believe two large holes are better than one little one. 20 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter inch. Hold that on the front of it. Shooting the 2 and 3 quarter inch Sabo ammunition with an 870 20 gauge outfitted with a Hastings rifle barrel. Hastings removable cheek piece and a Cytron 4 power scope is Donnie Clark of Masterclass Metal of Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania. Right on. Also with our 12 gauge, you'll notice we have two chevrons. These two chevrons are gusseted, and what they help do is they help absorb some of that initial shock in the chamber, which translates over to recoil. The same principles that are used in our 12 gauge are duplicated in, in our 20. 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter inch, low recoil youth. Shooting the 12 gauge 2 and 3 quarter inch low recoil youth is Pam Noster. Right 
an 870-12 gauge outfitted with a Hastings rifle barrel and removable cheek piece, Hogue over mold stock, and a 1.5 to 6 power Cytron scope was used. Not bad. Not bad. Twelve gauge, two and three quarter inch Magnum. Okay, we hot. Shooting an eleven eighty seven twelve gauge, topped with a two power aim point, using the two and three quarter inch Magnum ammunition, is Mike Kingston of Aim Point. Twenty gauge three inch magnum. Here Mike Kingston of Aim Point is shooting the twenty gauge three inch magnum ammunition using an H and R Ultra Slug gun mounted with a one and a half to six power Cytron scope. <laughs> That's a nice little group for the three inch twenty gauge. A twenty five pound clay block shot with a Hastings twelve gauge two and three quarter inch at one hundred yards. The concussion was deep enough to run through here, destroy the block behind it, and completely depress the cinder block underneath it. That's energy delivered. Kinetic energy. Here we are. Saturated cardboard. Shot at 100 yards. 3 inch, 12 gauge magnum. Entry hole. Exit hole. Plenty of penetration for any size deer that you've got in your backyard. We hope you have enjoyed this session. The technical information presented has been released with permission to educate shooters on the advances in Sabo slug accuracy. Hastings Laser Accurate Sabo slugs are a technologically advanced premium brand of ammunition developed and designed for the leader in premium rifled shotgun barrels, Hastings. Hastings thanks their host, the Chestnut Ridge Bow and Gun Club in New Paris, Pennsylvania, for the use of their facility and appreciates the service of their range master, Henry Haichu. Hastings thanks the following shooters, Ricky Bunce of Maryland, Donnie Clark of Master Class Metal in Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania, Pam Noster of Sabo Technologies, and Mike Kingston of Aim Point. Hastings thanks all the participating manufacturers. Hastings is a supporting member of the American Slug Shooting Association. For more information on laser accurate Sabo slugs, please visit www.hastingsammunition.com.